Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here in a beautiful forested area here in Switzerland. And today we're gonna to talk about something, well, I haven't talked about, spoken about before. We're gonna talk about camouflage. So I'll be right back with you. Welcome back everybody and today's subject is going to be on a camouflage puck that exists a little while that's had some reviews i guess a lot of reviews probably but i'm going to review it because i have a lot of you guys who are hunters or who are military or like to stealth camp this kind of stuff or photographers like to get out and, and photograph that kind of stuff now i don't have the complete system because i don't need it but what i do have of it i have of it is a piece that can help me to camouflage this now you see, I have the red, my red logo patch on it. And in general, olive is pretty good in the forest. You can use it, but this product is a very compact product and it's made to fit. It's called ghost hood. Okay. It's a backpack cover for ghost hood. This is it right here. It's a lightweight, small pack. It's a 30 liter. It's IR colors, original, um, con camo pattern. Okay. And this is developed and made in Germany. So they're quite expensive. And this is what it looks like right here. Okay, you see it? Now, um, we're gonna, my first time actually try it out in the forest, so we're gonna try it out together and get an opinion of what we think about it. So hang in there, we're gonna put it on the rucksack and then we're gonna, we're gonna see okay. how it looks. It's, a, it's made for a 30, 35 liter pack, a 30 liter pack, actually this is about a 30, 35 liter. It's my Monroe pack, I guess you all know it. And we'll back up here so you can have a look at it from behind, what it looks like. Now I have this, backpack stuff with a sleep bag so that uh, sort of gives some volume right here. What we're going to do is we're going to put it off here in the forest and we're going to see how well that works also. So we'll, it's, it's, it's actually quite nice, but it's a little bit snug for, for this, but it works fine. It works fine. Now we're going to, uh, I'll, I'll see afterwards how this looks blended in the forest. Like I said, I haven't tested it yet, but uh, we'll give it a try. Before we go on a little bit more, I've hidden it behind me. You can't really see it because I'm blocking the way with my big, my big body. But uh, uh, this exists also in a 60 liter. It exists a hood. It exists uh, arm, um, like arm gaiters. Uh, it, exists, it exists leg gaiters and, and pants, a long smock. It exists also for your, you can put over your weapons kind of stuff. And it exists in three colors. You have a, the spring summer color. You have a drier color. And then you have more of a winter camouflage. Color. But let's have a look at it right here. Do you see it? Okay. You know what? Turning my back on it right now and just turning around because the first time I've looked at it, it blends in pretty well. It's right, it's actually right there. You can see it right there. I put it up against the tree and the background around it and it works really well actually. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty impressed by the camouflage scheme on it. Um, definitely if you get this in a big enough seat, you can make yourself a, a hide with it, uh, which would be really good also. And the yeah it gives a good three-dimensional it uh, doesn't shine or anything it's uh, really it's a lightweight super lightweight material i mean you can see through it almost the back side of it is almost like a white so it's been printed only on one side uh well not a white but it's just a lighter color but it's right here actually it works really well i'm really impressed by how well it works let me go back here and have a look you know so if you're static with this thing you know Works pretty well. Now, of course, there's lots of other things involved in when it comes to measuring the quality of it. And this is just one. How does it blend in? So if you're a hunter or if you're um, just stealth camping or whatever, if you're a soldier like that, this actually is pretty good. You can put one over your rucksack really easily, uh, especially if you're in a greener area. Uh, now, if you look behind you, there's a lot of brown. So against that brown, it probably blend in and look more like a uh, like a stump, you know? And I'll move it over next to a stump and we'll see how it looks. You see for the stump right here. You're gonna be making all kinds of noise right here. <laughs> it's in the woods. 
I got it next to the stump back there. I turn around now and look. Well, now if it was laying, if it was laying flat, flatter, you wouldn't notice it so much. I do see it. I see it because I, I'm, I'm, I'm trained to look at it now. I've had, I'm got a little used to it, but it does. It, it, it blends in and it, and it, and it, it fits the scheme. Like I said, there's a whole suit of this right here. It's all made in Germany. Price range, I think this right here was 39 bucks, which I thought was a decent price for what it is um, to try it out because I want to test it out. And since I have a 30, 35 liter rucksack, I thought that it would be good to test it with that and see just how it works. And then I can, so light, it compacts like into your palm of your hand. It doesn't come with a stuff bag. So that's something I need to make is a little stuff bag for it. So that's going to be a project I'm going to work on. And, but I can slide it, uh, slide it into the top pocket of my rucksack. It doesn't take up any space. You can put it in a pocket if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, it works pretty well. So there you go. I'm impressed. Anyway, it's called uh, Ghost Hood. So I can find the, I think the tickets inside of it. Made in Germany, you can find them online. I got this right here from a local um, shop here uh, in my area. I went to yesterday and um, yeah pretty decent i think it's 69 franc 90 for the 60 liter i think it's more expensive now, of course like i said it's made in germany so it's, it's got a good quality to it it's got an elastic around it that you can pull you can take the elastic out of it and make it into more of a, a round sheet i guess you know if you want to do something else with it i mean and if you could find that material too bad i'm, I'm gonna look into it see if they sell it in maybe a roll you know or they sell in sheets if they do that'd be interested into purchasing some of that and uh, using that in a larger scale or making, uh, like I said, a hide side or something like that. Uh, but at that price there, I mean, that's pretty expensive for what small piece it is. But you're, like I said, you're paying for it because it's made in Germany and it's made local, like I said, here in Europe. Good quality stuff. And this camouflage scheme works really well. Now, I haven't had a chance to see the other schemes yet. I'm going to look online for that and, um, and see. But, um, yeah, interesting. Anyway, there you go. Ghost hoodie. All right, then. Hope you all have a pleasant day. And if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you think about it. And um, share with your friends and enemies. And I hope you all have a pleasant weekend. And I'll be back with you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Have a good okay, one. This Goodbye. is a little bit of a in-game video here. I'm going to let you see the pattern of it a little better. Okay, this is it right here against... A stump it does blend in pretty well the greens are really good there's no blacks in it which is good um has an elastic band around it this all comes off really easily no big deal you know very compact like, like i said i can compact this thing up into my fist it's very lightweight extremely light you know and it has an elastic cord bungee cord built into it so it has a green one with an olive uh barrel lock and that's it and even when it comes out really cringly it still works very well i mean it's still a, yeah it works very well so just a little extra on the end of the video uh, to give you a better idea of the pattern and stuff talk to you later